Live from luxurious Akron, Ohio, you're watching Blurred City. We're in the building. <laughs> Cam Carson, I love that intro, man. Amen. Oh, for those that don't know, you are Cameron Blakey, comic book artist, uh, Picasso. Well, Black I, Picasso. Well, I, 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 I try. <laughs> All I try. right, man. Listen, for those that don't know, tell somebody when we say Blurred City, and particularly when we use the word blurred, what are we talk about? We're talking about video games, comic books, movies, television, all from a black perspective. Well, listen, man, we already know. We're going to jump right into it. We already know coming pretty soon, I think May the 3rd, fifth. May the 5th, May the 5th, May the 5th, the Garden of the Galaxy Garden. is coming out with a third installation. Yes, sir. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about why this one is important for us behind the scenes and, and, and logistically, that's numbers speaking, but uh, more importantly, executively, what's going on? Well, what we know is this is James Gunn's last installment of Guardians of the Galaxy. He's moving over to Warner Brothers. That's the director, right? Right. The director, James Gunn, is moving on from Marvel to DC. So this is the last time we'll get him for Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I thought he was already over at DC doing the um, um, Peacemaker. He will. He will. He did this before he made the jump to uh, DC. So it's kind of a... a Blah. <laughs> bittersweet? Bittersweet. Kind of a bittersweet. I don't know. I'll I tell you what, man. Um, I watched the Peacemaker mm -hmm. first one. I thought it was dope. Okay. So that was him dancing with his Peacemaker. <laughs> that was James Gunn making peace right. over there in DC already. Yeah. And um, I don't know. Did he do um, the Suicide Squad too? I'm not sure. Did he? I believe he did. Yeah, I so he was he dancing did. with um, DC already, but now with DC, he's more of a Kevin Feige character, meaning he oversees the whole thing. Right? Exactly. With DC. So this is his last thing. Um, so when we talk about uh, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, that's an obscure team. And people was tripping out like, what the hell is Marvel doing? Talk about it. Well, as a lot of these you know, publishers and people who own these characters do, they try to bring their obscure characters forward by using the characters we all know and love to bring them out. And I think that Marvel did a great job bringing Guardians of the Galaxy to the mainstream. Now everybody knows who they are. So they've gone from obscure to mainstream. And that's probably what Warner Brothers would like for James Gunn to do for their characters. Like over a thousand characters. And they're going to try to bring the obscure ones forward. Who better to do it than James Gunn? That'd be dope, man. But Jesus Christ, man, I don't want to see the toilet team. Like, <laughs> we Jesus we Christ, might man. we might see the toilet team. Oh, man, we I might heard some of what he's doing, man. That, uh, <laughs> he's naming some toilet team. He's, he's in the team. toilet yeah, team. You know what I'm saying? Man, um, toilet paper boy, uh, mm. Kamog uh, kid, the Kamog kid. Man, you know what I'm saying? The plunger twins. Come <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Bow blaster. You know what I'm saying? You know, Peter the Piss Boy. You know, right. there's a whole bunch of different characters that you know since he already named, yep. he's pulling from the obscure because he had a successful record in the yeah. previous years and stuff like that. Speaking For about sure. the Garden of the Galaxy, right? Um, who are your favorite um guardian who? of the galaxy? Favorite so Guardian of the Galaxy. I would have to say Mantis. I like Mantis. You like? To draw Mantis. Oh, okay. Because I... with me, it's all about pretty much who I like to draw the most. So if I had to draw any of the Guardians of the Galaxy, I would draw Mantis first. Why Mantis? Why do you like to draw her? It just seems like she's, I don't know, she she fits a lot of what I like uh, to draw. She's got the antennas. You can make her thick like you make her? You know how... Just be suggested if you do your you draw your smut. Well, I, I well uh, uh, I I probably would take some liberties uh, uh, with uh, thickness, but 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 beyond that, her I like Drax. Um, I like Rocket Raccoon. Usually, what's the easiest one for you to draw? Oh wow, the easiest one of those of. Of of all the guardians, the, mm -hmm. the easiest guardian to draw would probably be it would have to be Drax. Because he doesn't really have a costume. But, you know what? We're gonna allow you, because we know we already started this before. Okay. Anything you draw here on this table, people can buy that thing. 
They That's can true. just go in the comment section and put their little bid in it Absolutely. and then donate to Dollar Sign Mecca Media and you will get that piece of art directly to you. So you're going to draw right now by the uh, power of editing, you're going to see. All right, Kevin Blakey, what we doing, man? Well, we're going to do a pinup of Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy. Here we go. Now, when we say pinup, mm -hmm. we talking a sexy version. Well... Sort of, kind of, a bit. Hey, man, so this is dope, man. I love it, man. I think we the only uh, show that this play, not the only show, but the only show of this kind where we talk about the comic books, the video games, you know, the whole blurred situation. We the only show where we showcase the artist himself in the in full effect every week or so, huh? For sure, for sure. Like, I, I don't know of any other place, any other platform, any... There's nobody doing it quite like this, I don't think. Hey, man, we have a real comic book artist in the building. Cameron Blakey, man, tell uh, the people who may not be familiar with what you do. Tell everybody in the name of your uh, company as far as comic book is concerned. Sure. Um, the name of my company is Cameron Blakey Art. Um, that consists of an online eBay store where I sell original art, um, books, prints, all kinds of stuff there. And I also have a publishing on, on uh, Lulu.com where I sell my books. So, yeah, between eBay and Lulu.com, you can get original art, books, signed prints, commissions, all kinds of stuff. Man, I think that's dope, man. I also think it's dope that we can see you drawing in real time. As you can see, if you can move your knuckle out the way, your left sure. knuckle. Oh, yeah, we can see what's going on. I see, um, I think I see big boobs. Yep, I'll probably scale those down. What's wrong with Scott and Gunn? <laughs> Don't want to be too crazy, but, you know. Hey, man, um, recently you just drew, um, I thought it was incredible, it was Power Girl. Thanks. And that is dope. I'm showing it right now on the screen and everything. That is dope. Now, how long did it take you to do something like that? And was it a commission? Um, that was not a commission. That was just for auction. And I want to say that took about 45 minutes to an hour. What? That's it? Yep. Wow, and you drew that freehanded, no computer-generated shades oh, no. or paint? No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm old school, man. It's all, all traditional art and all by hand and yeah. That's dope. So then you also drew, I don't know, you do uh her counterpart, if you will. Uh -huh. Um Supergirl. Yes, yes. Now what's the difference between now she looked fine too. Oh, now some believe that Supergirl and Power Girl are the same people from different universes. Some hmm. people believe they are two different people. What is the facts? To be honest, I'm not quite sure, but I don't think they're the same people. I think that Supergirl is Superman's cousin. Right. Po uh, Power Girl is also a cousin, but I'm not sure if she's from, if, if she's Kryptonian. I'm not quite sure. Um, so it's hard to say. I mean, I'm not quite sure. Well, I know uh, they're... Well, we're going to throw the, since this is Blurry City, we're going to throw the facts across the screen right now to let you know. I think it's a mixture between what me and you both were saying and everything, man. But, yeah. Um, a little history about Power Girl, though. Yeah. though um, the artist said he um, exaggerated the boobs um, just to be exaggerating the boobs. And he wanted to know how long he was going to allow to do that until he get caught. Guess what? Hmm. He really never got caught. <laughs> so he just kept doing he it? He just kept doing it. He just that is it. funny. Yeah, man. Wow, really? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, well, you know, this is Blurred City. Yeah. You're going to get something from here. I and was there, today man. years old when I found that out. Hey, that man. crazy. So you coming in pretty good. I see her. She's doing what she's doing. She's looking pretty dope. I love it. Hopefully, um, the people at home can see it from this angle. I'm going to um, pick this up just to be funny with it and zoom in with it. So they can get the full of gist. Mm -hmm. So they really got away with one with her, because, yeah, that is funny. Uh, remember, you guys, you guys can pick up this, this um, beautiful art that Cameron Blakey is doing on 
this particular show um, from through here, through this medium right now. You know what I'm saying? You can make a comment if you want it. Uh, just say, I want that. And then, you know, uh, drop a little um, cash app to dollar sign Mecca Media. But uh, don't just drop a cash app just doing it because guess what? It might be already gone. So just drop with the Inquisition and, hey, did anybody um, want that? But you'll see. And I think he's also going to um, try to work it through your Lulu.com account, yeah? Um, Really, it's a first-come, first first serve basis. So if you want it, you might want to act now because after a while, it, it'll, it'll probably end up going on some other platform. So if you want it, you're going to have to act real fast. Mm. Um, it'll be here. If it if uh, if nobody claims it here, it'll probably end up on uh, eBay, either for auction or buy it now. Um, so, so how can somebody change. now? Do you make print copies of these or no? Um, no. Um, it's like I I, I really only copy the uh, characters that I own so that I can you know mass mass produce them. I try not to make any. Uh, copies or prints of characters I don't, you know, own or have a relationship with. You got a relationship with this girl here? I wish I had no. I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a relationship with, uh, you know, you, you need licensing, you need permission, you need all kind of stuff in order to... Oh, to make copies make and make prints and, oh, okay, you know, word is born. stuff like that, but... Yeah, I don't have anything like that, so I don't really make Hey, man, you can draw like a mother, man. Oh, thanks, man. So let's talk about the um, kids coming up nowadays, man. Sure. Um, a lot of people uh, seem to think that drawing is a lost art because it's not pumped up in the schools with the, the different things that kids used to do when, when we were younger. Yeah. It's kind of different now. Speak on that. Well, I think that uh, we... You and I, uh, people in our age group, you know, basically, if you're between the ages of like 35 and 50, you saw a really good turn as far as comics and being creative because during those, like back in the 80s, early 90s, you could go to a grocery store and purchase a comic book at the like in the checkout line. That's the truth. Now, if you want a comic book, you gotta search for it. You gotta look for a comic book shop. Good luck with that. And and you know there, and, and plus there aren't people around that are drawing. Like you know, like people used to draw all the time, and it made you want to draw. Or they would have a new comic book that just sold a million copies, so you wanted to do it too. Comic books don't do that anymore. It's harder to get them. Nobody draws, so nobody sees anybody doing it. So it just gets further and further from what we routinely do. And I think, uh, you know, the way comics are distributed, the way that nobody sees anybody doing it, it's not that they don't want to do it. They just don't see it done. And I think if they saw it done more, they would know, like, you know, okay, that's something I would like to do. Um, you know, people do what they see. Um, we were lucky to see a lot of great comic books uh, come out and be commercially successful. Like, when we were younger, comics sold like a million copies. Yeah, they, they say their number is down considerably. Oh, like man. what used to be platinum yeah. um, is now gold status. Right. They say a good run and I don't know, some of them sell a lot. But uh, the numbers are drastically different than what, like what you were saying. Totally. So no longer are comic books themselves are selling a million. Never. But you know and I know that you can still sell quite a few hundred thousand. Oh, and sure. that still turns a profit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, now if you sell a hundred thousand, really if you sell... 250,000. Yeah, if you sell 10,000 comics, you know, it, it's a big deal, whereas 30 years ago people were selling like a million copies of a single issue. You know? Yeah. It, it, it completely changed. Like, 
you know, comic book artists were rock stars for a little while. And then, uh, you know, things kind of dried up. This ain't the years when everything was like um, 25 cent. You talking after that. You talking about like in the 80s. The 90s? Yeah, like early 90s. I'm, I'm talking like 90s. When they were like a dollar and 50. They were about a dollar 50, closing in on two dollars. But these guys were rock stars. Like, you know, they were in blue jean commercials because they had just sold like a million copies of X Men or something. Now, um, like, you won't see any of that. You won't see any of that. And if, uh, if modern comics were held to those standards back then, we would have never got a Walking Dead. We would have never got a lot of stuff. Like, you look at a lot of the movies and television that came from, uh, you know, comics that sold well. You're talking about Walking Dead, 300, Road to Perdition, History of Violence, 30 Days a Night, um, V for Vendetta, Sin City. Hey, man, she's fine. Oh, thanks, man. That's Mantis? Yep. She's fine. Get your hand off her boot. Sorry. <laughs> now, this is on um, good quality paper. Uh, it's not just regular paper. It's oh, just, no. What's, what's the name of that paper? Uh, bristle board. Yeah, bristle board. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Bristle paper. And, uh... and then, you know, guys, if you order this one, if you want this one, understand this is the only one in this making. It's not going to be dubbed yep. or what they say, copied. Yeah, there's it's no copies the of this. original one. This original Cameron Blakey. One of Man, one. We appreciate you coming down, spending your time with us here at AkronHipHop.com. I appreciate all of y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. It's, 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 uh, it's really, you know, great, great for me to, to be able to you know, talk to, to people who are knowledgeable about comics because, you know, like when you draw this every day, you spend a whole lot of time by yourself, you know, drawing, you know, dirty pictures. Right, right, smutty pictures. So any any chance I get to have an adult conversation with people and to, you know, correspond with people and go, go, you know, back and forth and, you know, talk about comics and art, that's always, like, the pleasure is all mine. So, uh, what comic book are, are you reading now? Um, I'm actually going through a lot of my old stuff. And what I notice I've been looking at lately is uh, Empowered by Adam Warren. Um, it was a comic book series about a female superhero who isn't really good at it. So, there's a lot of uh, you know, comedy there. She usually gets her and her friends in more trouble than she she saves. So there's that. Um, I'm a big J. Scott Campbell fan, so I'm always looking at the Danger Girl, um, things that he did. What about the new comic book, like uh, like we were talking about last week, uh, Lost? You going to get into that? The new one come out uh, in about, I think, the second week of March. Of May. I absolutely will because the way you described it, it sounded like a Netflix series. Like, like it's it's so good, it could be Superman, it could be anybody, and I would still want to read it. I actually want to watch it. Like, it's just a great uh, premise, just a great idea. It so, was dope with the um, pictures added to it, to the way it came off in the editing. Yeah, I'm I thought it was dope to that. too. Yeah, I thought it was dope. And, um, I used to have I used to have a subscription to DC online. Oh wow! But I, I felt funny. <laughs> Why is that? I, I kept it, I'm reading comic books through a computer, bro. I didn't oh, feel yeah. right. Yeah, you want to turn some pages. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. You want to, you know, you want to be in the, the nostalgia of it all. Look right. at the details. It's hard to, you know. Plus, you know, some people collect. You know, some people like mm -hmm. to collect, and this one thing to have a download or something like that, but. It's like uh, people with video games. Yeah. Um, you know, we talk video games and stuff like that, too. Right. Some people with video games, they believe that um, the, the newer 
way to get video games is to do, is to download them. I was told that yeah, off of Steam or something like that. Or, I yeah. was told that the new PlayStation they're about to come out. No, right now they got a PlayStation Five yeah. for a fraction of the amount and don't have a drive for discs. It's straight up for um, digital download. Yeah, consoles are. It's, it's almost <laughs> excuse me. It's almost as if they're pushing you. To download. To leave consoles alone and go straight to the downloads. And I mean, yeah. I think they're always going to have a console. Yeah, Because yeah. there's so much money in it. But uh, I don't know, man, about the... I, I just haven't made that uh, transition Me to either, not getting the, the tangible form Me game. Either. I got to have it because, I mean, it's like... I mean, like, you always have that game. You own the game. If something happens to your hard drive or your computer or something, then what? You know, all your oh, games are gone. I never going. think of it like, yeah, that's right, you know, they go. All, all, no, no. All so the I think they got a cloud, a cloud. Okay. Well, you got your account is in the cloud. You can play anywhere. And that's cool. I'm just, I, I guess I'm just old, dirt, and I, you know, I have to have a physical copy of the game. So I, I what's your um, your if you have, what's your game console of choice today? Oh well. I only have two. I have a PlayStation Four, and don't laugh. I got a PlayStation Two, and I. You got a PlayStation Two? Is it active? PlayStation Two is active. I play my PlayStation Two more than I play my PlayStation Four. You got you got that game Kinetica on it. It's called what? Kinetica. Uh. Uh-uh. Oh, get that. that. You just 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 trust me. You like racing games? Not really. Uh, Not really. I, I'm more futuristic kind of racing games, though. As far as. My PlayStation 2, I play, um, <laughs> this is crazy, but um, Madden 04 is my favorite Madden, and Live 06, NBA Live 06 is my Madden 04 is your Madden favorite Madden? Madden 04 is my favorite Madden. On PlayStation 2? On PlayStation 2. What the hell? Who was on the cover? Who, who the, um... Who was on the cover? Yeah. Michael Vick. Of course. Michael Vick is, he, he is, he of course. is... He's incredible. That's that 04? 04. And it's the first Madden. He in the white and black out um, jersey. Uh, yep. Yep, I, I had it. It's the first Madden where you had franchise mode where you could control the price of tickets, the price of concessions, the price of parking. You could, like, run the team. So the way I play it, and this sounds weird, I don't even play the game. You just do all the uh, I do all executive the general, decisions. I do all the general the, manager. Exactly. You let the whole season play, or you play one game? And I let the, the whole, one whole season play. I will. I will. I will. I will put the whole team uh, together. I'll put the prices, the arena, the college, or, or you know whatever. I'll put it all together, and then I'll let the game play it out to see if I made the right. You know, decision. You let the game or the whole season back all together. You gotta play one game at a time. Mm-hmm. Stimulate one. I mean, simulate one game at a time. Yeah, I go one game at a time, and I, I I don't hit simulate. I'll I'll actually watch the game. Watch the game. So I'll who um, you game. letting the computer be the um, quarterback in? You letting the computer do all of it. The computer makes all the decisions once the once the game starts, and and I don't play the game at all. Ain't that crazy? No, no, that's not. You know they got a game called Head Coach. Yeah, Head Coach. I tr- yeah. I got that. I used to. I used to play that. Um, but I. I think I liked uh, watching the games. Oh, oh four years. So then, um, like head, co- oh, head Coach. I don't even. I thought the games. Um, you could watch the game. I think you can on Head Coach. I just liked oh four better. And uh, yeah, man, that's how I. I play that that way, and I play uh, live that way. And that look dope, man. As far as uh, PlayStation 4, you know, GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption. I got some fighting games. I do play the fighting games on PlayStation 4. but you, mean you ain't trying to graduate to the 5 as of yet? Nah, nah, because I really, I mean, I really haven't. Messed around with the four like Played that. Played my four years. Yeah, like, you know, I was late getting the four, so I'm still trying Enjoying to enjoy the four. it. Right, right. And they about to put the five out, so the I'm five is way out. behind. Right, right. Yeah, like two, three years? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like super duper late. You know, by the time I'm through with four, six is going to come out. 
you gonna be just now messing with the five. Just getting to the five. Man, by the time you get to the five, we're gonna be on the moon plane. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. like, you know, people gonna be playing video games on the wall or some something. Man, it's gonna it's gonna be crazy. That look dope. Let me zoom in on her face. Man. Sure. Look at that. Look at hold on the camera. Move. Sure. Mantis, Guardians of the Galaxy. That is dope. Listen, tell them how to go about getting that, man, as we wrap up. Okay, well, you can either leave some comments below. You can try to contact uh, Mecha Media and uh, see about picking this up. If, if not, this will end up on eBay for either buy it now or auction at Cameron Blakey Art on my eBay store. And you can pick it up there. I suggest you try to get it right now because if you don't get it now, it's gone. So you want to go on ahead and leave a comment, get some feedback, or send a message to Mecha Media and see about picking up an original piece of art. Mantis from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy can be all yours. We are done. Turn that picture around. Make sure I put the right year because I'll be done put 20 something, 2013 on here or something. Look at that. So, yeah.